In this video, we are looking at parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines are two lines that have the same slope, and parallel lines never cross one another. An example here is the graph of y equals 4x minus 1 and y equals 4x plus 3. So notice that they both have the same slope of 4, but the y-intercept of the first one is negative 1, and the y-intercept of the second line is plus 3. So if I graph those on the same grid, um, the one with the x with the y-intercept of negative 1 would be here, and then the slope would be up 4 over 1 to get the second point. For the second one, y equals 4x plus 3, I would start out with a y-intercept of 3, and then my slope is 4, so it's going to be parallel to this other line. And you can see that because those are parallel, they are never, ever going to cross. Now let's look at perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite signs and reciprocals. So opposite signs means that if it's a positive slope, it will become negative. If it's a negative slope, it will become positive. And then reciprocals means that the fraction is flipped. So if I had a four, then the reciprocal would be one fourth. And we want the opposite signs. So I would put a negative one fourth. If I had something like a negative um, three halves for my slope, then for the opposite sign reciprocal, I would flip that fraction, I would get a two thirds, and it would be positive because I want the opposite sign. Let's say I had something like one fifth. Flipping the fraction would give me five over one, but anything over one, I can just write as a whole number. So I would get five and then the opposite sign, I would make it a negative. So opposite sign reciprocal, those are a few examples. Perpendicular lines cross one another at a 90 degree angle. That's what perpendicular means is actually that 90 degree angle or right angle. Here are a couple um, graphs. The first one is y equals 5 thirds x plus 1. So crossing here at the um, y-intercept of 1. And y equals negative 3 fifths minus 2. So notice in the slopes, the first line had a slope of 5 thirds. The second line has a slope of negative 3 fifths. So it's the opposite sign and the fraction is flipped. Five over three flipped to three over five, and we changed the sign. And you can see that these two graphs cross at a 90 degree angle here. So that's a, we also think of it sometimes as a square angle. All right, so let's practice with this. We're gonna take the line y equals eight x minus five, and we want to find the equation of the line that is parallel to this and passes through the point negative seven, two. So remember, parallel lines have the same slope. Here, the slope is eight. So that's important to make a note of, is what the slope of your original line is. So here we have slope of eight. And so a parallel line is gonna have a slope of eight. So the parallel slope is eight. Now I have a point that was given to me here. I'm gonna go ahead and call this x1, y1. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the equation, the point slope form of a line and do y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. Okay, so y1 is a two, so I'm gonna do y minus two. My slope is eight, and then I'll have 
x minus a negative 7. But subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So this would actually simplify to y minus 2 equals 8 parentheses x plus 7. Now, Alex will accept this as an answer for the parallel line. So if you choose to, you can stop there. If you want to continue on and solve, you would go ahead and distribute the 8. So we'll get 8x, 8 times 7 is 56. And then add the 2 to both sides. And so we would get y equals 8x plus 58. So that's going to be the parallel line. And as I said, Alex will accept either of these answers, the one in the box or the one um, in the oval. Okay, so now they say find the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through the point negative 7, 2. So it's the same point, x1, y1. But for a perpendicular slope, we're going to take the 8 and we'll go ahead and flip it into a fraction. So I'm gonna have one eighth, a whole number as a, um, when you flip and make it a fraction, it will become one over that whole number. And I'm gonna do the opposite sign, so it will be a negative. And so now when I do my y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. It will look almost the same, except I'm going to have a slope of negative 1 to 8. So I'll have y minus 2 equals negative 1 8 x plus 7. Remember how we said subtracting a negative makes it a plus. And then I want to go ahead and distribute. Um, remember, Alex will accept this form, the point slope form of the line. So you could stop there. But if you wanted to solve for y, you would go ahead and distribute the negative 1 8. Um, so I'd get negative 1 8 x minus 7 8 on the right hand side. And then I would go ahead and add two to both sides. And so I'm going to end up with y equals negative one eighth x. And then I have to figure out what negative seven eighths plus two is. Now you could get a common denominator and say, okay, two is the same as 16 eighths. So 16 eighths minus 7 eighths would give us a plus 9 eighths. That would tell us. Okay, I lost my pen here. Let's see, okay, there we go. So this should be plus 9 eighths. And if you wanted to double check, you could either use your TI-84 or you could use Desmos. So let me go ahead and go to um, Desmos.com scientific calculator. And I'm going to put in my negative 7 eighths plus 2 and go ahead and hit this fraction key. That gives me the 9 eighths. So now I know that I got the correct y-intercept. 
Now also, if I wanted to check to see that I got the correct lines, I could actually graph both of these, all three of these lines actually, in Desmos graphing calculator or in your TI-84. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, desmos.com backslash calculator. And I'm gonna put in my original equation first. My original equation was y equals eight x minus five. So I'll put that in, eight x minus five. Now I wanna put in the line that I got for the parallel line, y equals eight x plus 58, y equals eight x plus 58. So I can see they're parallel, so that part's good. I'm gonna check that they go through this, the correct point in just a minute. And then my perpendicular line is y equals negative 1 8 x plus 9 8. So y equals negative 1 over 8 x plus 9 8. And I want to check and make sure they go through the correct point. The point was negative 7 2. So I'll come back to Desmos. I'm going to put in parentheses negative 7, comma 2. And then I'm going to click the box that says label. And so I can see that the y equals 8x plus 58 is parallel to the red line. And it goes through the correct point, negative 7, 2. The green line, y equals negative 1, 8x plus nine eighths. I can see that that makes a 90 degree angle with the red line and it goes through the correct point of negative seven two. So that's a way to check your answer graphically using desmos.com. And you may use desmos.com on the test. So practice showing your work. This is how you would show your work, but then check your answer using Desmos or the graphing calculator. All right, let's do one more example. Here we have the line um, 3x minus 4y equals negative 2. And we want to find a parallel line that passes through the point um, negative 5, 1. And then we want to do a perpendicular line that passes through the point negative 5, 1. So the same point. And then check your answer graphically. Now, the problem here is that this equation is not um, in the form that I can easily pick out the slope. So what I wanna do is um, I wanna solve my equation to be in the form y equals mx plus b so that I can easily pick out what the slope is. So I'm gonna have um, my three x minus four y equals negative two, and I wanna move that three X over. So I will get negative four Y equals negative three X minus two. Divide everything by negative four. And so I get y equals um, the negative 3 over negative 4. Negative over negative is positive. So this would become 3 fourths x. And then negative 2 over negative 4. Negative over negative is positive. So plus 2 over 4 is the same as 1 half. So plus 1 half. Now, the thing I care about, I don't really care what the y-intercept is but I do care what the slope is. So this is going to help me identify my slope, three fourths, whatever number is attached to X once you've gotten it into the form Y equals MX plus B. Okay, so I've got my slope. Now I wanna go ahead and do my parallel line.
For the parallel line, the slope is going to be the same, so 3 fourths. My point is given up here. This is my x1 and my y1. x1 is negative 5, y1 is 1. And remember, the point slope form of the line is y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. So I'll have y minus 1 equals 3 fourths times x plus 5, because I'm doing x minus negative 5, which becomes a plus. Okay, and now um, I could answer in this form, this is the point slope form of the parallel line, and that is acceptable. If you wanna go ahead and solve for y, you distribute your three fourths. So you'll get three fourths x, three times five is 15, so plus 15 fourths. And then we have to go ahead and add the one to both sides. So we have plus one there and plus one there. And so we'll end up with y equals 3 fourths x plus 19 fourths. And you can check that fraction in your calculator or on Desmos Scientific Calculator if you need to. Okay, so here is your point slope form. Here's your slope intercept form. So that's the parallel line. For the perpendicular line, we want to flip the slope and use the opposite sign. So this will be a negative 4 thirds. And we're going to go ahead and put it in the equation. So we'll have y minus 1 equals negative 4 thirds x plus 5. It was the same point for both the parallel and the perpendicular. And so here I'm going to, um, if you want to answer in point slope form, that would be your final answer. Or if you want to solve for y, you would distribute the negative four thirds. So you'd get negative four thirds X. Four times five is 20. So then it would be minus 20 thirds. And then add one to both sides. So we would end up with y equals negative 4 thirds x, negative 20 thirds plus 3 thirds should give me minus 17 thirds. And again, you can check that in your calculator. That would be your perpendicular line. So now, I want to check graphically whether I got the correct answer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Desmos graphing calculator. My original equation was 3x minus 4y equals negative 2. So that's the first one I'm going to enter. We get rid of these from my last one. So my first one is 3x minus 4y equals negative 2. And Desmos is cool because you can actually enter the line in that form. You don't have to solve for y first. My parallel line was 3 fourths x plus 19 fourths. y equals 3 fourths x plus 19 fourths. 
and my perpendicular line was y equals negative 4 thirds x minus 17 thirds. y equals negative 4 over 3x minus 17 over 3. Okay, everything is looking great. My original line is in black here. And I can see that the parallel line, y equals 3 fourths x plus 19 fourths, is indeed parallel. It has the same slope. And the perpendicular line looks like it's making a 90 degree angle, which is perfect. So the only thing left to check is do they go through the correct point? And the point was 1, negative 5. Um, let me double check that. The point was negative 5, 1. I apologize. I had that reversed. So the point was negative 5, comma 1. And I want to label that. And you can see that both the parallel line, the red line, and the perpendicular line, the blue line, go through the correct point. So you can visually see that they have the correct slopes and they go through the correct point. So again, practice showing your work. That would be what we did here on the screen. And then when you want to check, to check your answer graphically, you're going to go to desmos.com backslash calculator, put in your equations and label the point. And it's a great way to make sure that you have done everything correctly.